And good morning, it's Mike Ferry. Welcome to Mike Ferry TV, the week of March 25th. We're almost done with the first quarter of 2024. I don't expect that anybody would be exactly 25% accomplished in the goals they've set. You know, it takes usually 30, 60, 90 days to get a plan in effect, to get all the components working, to get your work habits where you want them to be, et cetera. So don't be disappointed if your goal, for example, is to sell 25 properties in 2024 and you've only had four in the first uh, three months. Are you doing the things that are necessary to create the transactions? Because if you got, if you got the skill set in place and you got the work habits in place and the mindset in place, you're going to achieve the goals that you've set. So never be discouraged, but don't party too much and don't over celebrate if you're ahead of schedule because this is a momentum type of business and momentum means that you're doing certain things a certain way every day that are positive and productive. Last week we were talking about the differences between the best and all the other people that we compete against in the real estate industry and we gave you six points last week from strong work ethic to having production standards and four other points. And I have six more I want to share with you today. And I think these six points that I want to give you today, if you watched last week and you still is still available to you, of course, and you write out the first six and the second six and you keep them posted in front of you, it'll be a good reminder mentally to keep yourself on track. So at some point you can be looking in the mirror and say to yourself with a smile, at least I know at this point I'm one of the best instead of being one of the rest. So point number seven, continuing from 1.1 through six last week, the best people do not accept failure as being a final verdict. Failure is part of the real estate business. It always has been, always will be. Um, watch some agents succeed out of sheer desire and work ethic some succeed because their skill set is so strong some succeed because they have a very strong mindset as to what they're going to do and accomplish but on the path to succeeding you're going to fail not a hundred percent of the people are going to agree with you that you could sell their home and or you could find them a home to purchase. There's a reason why in North America there's probably now 1.7 million between all of our Canadian friends and our U.S. friends. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of failure taking place. We just don't want you to participate in the failure that stops you. You don't accept failure because you know that if you keep being told no, there's always a yes to follow. I wrote down number eight, they have high self-esteem, meaning they feel good about themselves and what they're doing. It was then I wrote down, but not just a big ego. And you've heard me say in the past, ego, E-G-O. If you cross off the E, what's left? Go. So we need to make sure we are going in the direction of the goals that we've set and we feel good and comfortable with the process. Remember, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, knowledge equals confidence, ignorance equals fear. So therefore, feeling strong and good about yourself and what you accomplish is strong self-esteem. Number nine, they make decisions quickly. Um, one of my mentors, Dr. Gunther Klaus, who we lost probably 15, 18 years ago, way too young an age when he passed away, he said the most important thing that a salesperson can do or a leader can do or a broker or owner manager can do is make decisions fast. And he and I talked about this one day. I said, well, Gunther, if we're making decisions real quickly, what if we make the wrong decision? He said, make another one but just do it quickly. You don't sit there and labor and moan about the fact that you made a wrong decision. What you do is you say to yourself, okay, that decision I made did not work. What decision should I make right now to get myself back on track? Number 10, and this is probably one of the more important ones. The best people see the value of working their database every day. 
something I simply do not and probably will never understand. Very successful people that do 30, 50, 75, 100 transactions a year without a team, and they never call their database. I, I talk to them and I'll say, these are people that are past clients. Yeah, but on this person, there was a problem on the transaction at the end. And I, I don't want to remind them of that if I call them. When did you sell them their home? Four years ago. I think they have moved on with their life. Then you have the centers of influence in your database, people that know you, people that enjoy you, people that trust you, neighbors, friends, family, etc. Watch, they deserve the best service. Who better to give it to them than you? Call five to 10 to 15 people every day in your database and you will see the multiplication of transactions take place very quickly. Number 11, top producing people are very comfortable with the success they've achieved. They're comfortable with the success. They plan it, they expect it, they work for it, they have standards, they have a path to follow. So therefore, there's no big surprise that they've listed five, six homes in a given month, that they've had four or five of their listings sell. And some of you will say to yourself, I can't imagine having five or six new listings in a month. Remember that if you can't see it, it's probably not going to happen. And number 12, the last point on these last week and this week's list, these people, the best people have high levels of versatility. Versatility is the ability to adapt quickly to a wide variety of people, situations that you're involved in. Or in essence, not being stunned by a situation that is the day-to-day -day situation. Not being shocked that a seller says no. Not being shocked that an appointment is canceled. Not being shocked that a buyer wants to offer this much money on a fair market value that is up here having the versatility to adapt quickly to people. And the best way to develop versatility is to stop having to be right about everything that you do. Because there are many ways to achieve the goals that you've set for yourself. So I hope that you watched last week. I'm hoping that you're taking good notes on this week. Both of these uh, short Mike Ferry TVs for about eight minutes long. It's a very small segment of your day. Watch it two or three times. Enjoy the experience. See you next week. Thank you.